Hello, dears. Welcome to Beauty with a Heart. I'm Li Ling, also known as Lulu. Lulu means dear. <laughs> Today, I'm blessed to be asked to be an MC volunteer for a talk. I'm not the professional kind, just a read up from the script type. <laughs> but then still, it is still a blessing for me to help out because to help out means that we have something to give. And share. And today I'm creating this horror makeup look, which is quite a light makeup. It's suitable for you to apply it on a daily basis to the office, going for a date, or a girls gathering. So let's get started. Hehe, <laughs> here we go. Ayo. Why my skin today seems so bad? So coarse. Oh no, can you see my pimples on the nose and forehead? Ah, <sighs> okay, let's start. Our first mix the primer and foundation together with a Q-tip. Then, use the Q-tip to spread it all over the face. Then, use a damp sponge blender to spread and blend all over the face. And neck. Next, use the concealer to cover up my dark circles and my pimples. <laughs> then use the damp sponge blender to. Blend all over the eyes and the pimples area. Next, use the tapered face brush to apply powder on my T zone and eye area because these are the oily area so I want to set it and make the makeup more long lasting. Next Apply eye primer onto the eye bead. Whoa! You just hear that? The kids' laughter? So joyous! Today, I just watched a YouTube video about this makeup artist. She's applying this technique on her celebrities. The technique is, she's applying the eye primer to their lips so as to make their lips stay fast. So, being curious, I want to test it out now. But, <laughs> I immediately regret because the eye primer dries up my lips and I don't feel comfortable. Well, that's because my lips is already very dry and wrinkly. And, yeah really don't feel good. Along the day, the lips stay as usual, it fade away after a meal. So I don't think I will be using this method. But for those dears with good lips condition, you may like to test this out. Yeah, let me know how is it for you. Thank you. Amma lips! Okay, Amma means grandmother. 
<laughs> My lips is so dry <laughs> Oh yes I found one more use for this technique <laughs> If you want to apply MC Medical certificate <laughs> Maybe you can try this because as you can see from my lips ah, It is so crumply and pale I think pale is because of the primer color But who knows? Well, just joking Okay, eyebrow time I'm using the eyebrow pencil to outline the shape of my eyebrow first Wetting my eyebrow brush with a spray, I'm applying the powder on the second section of the palette to 3 quarters of my eyebrow. <laughs> okay, now then I realize you just can see how messy is my table through the mirror reflection. Oh no! Clean the eyebrow brush with the wet tissue because I'm going to pick up another color. Next, using the same eyebrow brush, I'm picking up the lightest color from the eyeshadow palette. Oh, sorry, not eyeshadow palette, eyebrow palette. I'm using the lightest color at the start of my eyebrow. Actually, I like to use two or three colors to my eyebrow to create a gradient look so that it looks more natural. I want a softer look. So now I'm using the eyebrow mascara in brown to achieve this. Shadow time! Today, I'm applying only two colors on my eyelid. I want something just plain and simple and glittery. I like sparkling eyes. And I don't like too much color on my eyelid actually. First, I'm wetting my short bristle brush with spray to pick up the center color from the eyeshadow palette. I'm using this to my entire eyelid as the base color. Clean the sharp reserve brush with the white tissue because I'm going to pick up the other color. Spray on my sharp reserve brush again. I'm picking up this glittery eyeshadow color to apply to the center of my eye bead. Here, you can see the messiness of my table again. Eyeliner time! I'm using this blackish brown color liquid eyeliner from Wet n Wow. I just bought this a few days ago. And I'm still testing this out because I tried on twice. And these two times, um, I'm still actually sitting on the fence on it because it didn't really smudge on me. As I mentioned in my earlier videos, I oily eyelid, so any eyeliners will actually smudge on me. But fortunately, this doesn't. But the strange thing is, it flakes on me. So, I don't know whether this is a good or bad thing. And another issue is when I'm applying this eyeliner, right? Somehow or rather, it gets onto my lash. 
after giving this um, mascara layer effect, clumpy, sticky effect, so when I use the eyelash curler to curl my lash, it becomes very sticky and my lashes drop. Already, I don't have much lashes. <laughs> Applying this transparent color mascara onto my lashes first. Okay. Um, the reason why I didn't curl my lash, then apply this mascara is I've experimented this for many times. And all the times when I curl the lash and apply this mascara, my lashes, I mean the curl of my lashes drop. So that's why I don't curl it first. Fan, fan, fan. Speed up the drying process. Blusher time. Apply the blusher onto the cheeks. And don't forget to switch to the cleaner side of the brush to blend away the harsh lines. Highlighter time! Use the center highlighter to apply on the season. This Essence Light Up Your Face Luminizer Palette is made out of three different highlighters for different parts of the face. The center highlighter from this palette gives the most obvious highlighting effect. But having said that, this palette gives a very natural and subtle glow. It is good for those who want a natural effect. Personally, I would prefer their Pure Nude Highlighter than this palette. Although the Pure Nude Highlighter gives also a natural effect, it is more glowy and more suitable for my skin. Next, use the first highlighter from this palette to apply onto the T-zone. Next, use the last highlighter from this palette to highlight the cheekbones. Don't forget, tap off the access. Fawcy time! Today, I'm choosing a light and natural eyelash for this look. Fan fan again. <laughs> to speed up the drying process. Next, use this beige color eyeliner to draw on my bottom eyelid waterline. Use a slanted eye brush, wet it with a spray to pick up the glittery eyeshadow to apply on the bottom eyelid. Then after assess.
use the eyelash color to press against my fake eyelash to make it more curled while waiting for the glue to dry. And when the glue is completely dry, curl the eyelashes. Apply the transparent mascara to join my fake lashes and natural lash together. Oh yes, for these with fabulous bottom eyelashes, please also apply mascara. For me, I don't have visible bottom eyelashes, so I just skip this step and don't bother with it. Finally, the last step, apply lipstick. Oh no, as you can see dears, my lips is so wrinkly because of the eye primer I applied on the lips. So are my lips, and now you fed the performance of the lipstick. Oh. Hehe, <laughs> I forgot. <laughs> this is truly the last step. Spray the dewy fishing spray onto the face. And fan 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 again again <laughs> to speed up the drying process. Alrighty, today I remember to post the finished look in front of the camera, but don't feel weird. And now I realize my hair is so frizzy. <laughs> hmm. Okay, I think my spray has not yet fully dry. You can still see the wetness of it. But I think I look much more healthier and brighter with the lipstick. Oh yeah! Yeah! All done! Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> Thank you dears for watching and here's an inner beauty tip for you. Hope you dears like this video. If you do, please help me to subscribe, comment and thumbs up this video so as to encourage me. Thank you very much. May you dears have a peaceful blissful and joyful week ahead. See you next time. Bye!